Hey guys, whew, it took a long time to get myself into focus. I have not done a video in so long. I am doing a collective haul. So this is basically just stuff that I bought over the past month and it's all drugstore products for the exception of one thing. This is all Walgreens, Target, CVS, and Walmart. So this is all products from drugstore and they're all um, sale products. So let's just get started. This is full of stuff and I also have, I um, went to Target and I got a few things and I know that I'm late to the party with a lot of these products but I saw this and I just had to get it and this is the NYX Adorable Eyeshadow Palette and I thought it was cute because it has a lot of fall appropriate colors and so that's it right there there are four matte shades and two shimmer and let's just stay with the brand until we're done with it right i got some nyx products and so these are two lip products that i saw some videos on and i said that i really wanted to get it because not only am i now into matte shadows i'm also into matte lip this is the nyx soft matte lip cream in istanbul and the next color is, well actually the next product is the matte lipstick by NYX. This is Sweet Pink. Let's see if I can swatch it, right? I'm kind of new to this camera, so I know it seems really awkward, but my last camera was an autofocus and it was really easy. Yeah, that's really cute. Hope you guys can see it, but it's just kind of a deep, rich pink. So the next next product that I got was the dupe slash sub for NARS Orgasm Blush. If I really like it and it really changes my life, then I will go ahead and get the NARS Orgasm. But this is a very light, shimmery pink. And so let's see if we can go ahead and swatch that. Like I said, it's just very awkward. Let me add a little bit more. It's kind of hard to gauge whether you guys can see because the display is so far away from me. So it won't be until I'm editing that I will see that this is actually acceptable or not. But anyway. But yeah, this is a light wash of pink. I think this will go really good with my skin tone. <clears throat> I got some e.l.f. products. And I always loved e.l.f. because it's affordable. It was actually one of my first brands when I was really getting into learning how to play with makeup about five or six years ago. I've really been into the cream to powder foundations and so I got the HD mattifying cream foundation but anyway I haven't tried it yet this is in the shade what is it in the shade of sand and it only comes in a few different shades I really think they need to diversify their selection this is the second to lightest or the second richer skin tone so I figured that this would work I haven't tried it yet and I will be doing a look trying this and using this as a first impression. Okay, so the next e.l.f. product I got was the Makeup Mist and Spray, and this is something that I thought I'd give it a shot. So I have some Physician Formula products, and I'm so excited about this because I was telling my sister this because we were buying, we were buying some makeup, and I said to her, I said, Physician Formula was kind of my first step up in drugstore makeup. Their product has always helped to heal my skin. So I decided I'm going to get a few things and there was a buy one get one 75% off and let me tell you I took advantage of that and I got actually I got two things that one day and then I went to Target a week prior and I had gotten another product for the shoot formula. So I got the nude wear and this is the blush and I don't know the shade. Oh forgive me. It's it's a blush. But it's got four different quadrants and it's called nude wear and so let's see if i can swatch this i'm guessing that you just all oh, that just feels so creamy this is really really light let me just put a little bit more this is a little chalky i really got the impression that this would be just very pinky but it's chalky and whitish i gotta say i don't like that but I also got this and I left this in the packaging because it's so cute. This is the Sexy Ulala Liners and it comes with a little, I guess a holding mechanism. 
but it comes with a liquid liner, a coal liner, and a eyeliner pencil. So let's just go ahead and open that up and see how, see what we've got in here. See you now, look at that, it's cute, it's like a little shoe. So this would be the pencil, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. So this is, that looks like that's the liner. I'm guessing if this is creamier, this would be the Kajal. Absolutely, that is, oh. I don't know if you can see it but this one right here that is the kajal that was very creamy and smudgy and this is the liner this has a little bit of drag to it and i think that maybe if i want to put it like in my lower lash line on the outer v i could use that it won't smudge out but i think for the inner lash line where it's very delicate i would use that and the tight line as well let's see what the liquid liner looks like Okay, this is like a white tip. There's no pigment. So I'm guessing that you have to pump it or something. Instructions. Let's go ahead and shake that. Okay. You have to prime it first. I'm not going to make any kind of judgments yet. This isn't very pigmented. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. And if you can't, I don't blame you. Okay, it doesn't really fit in the packaging that it's supposed to go in. Um, well, you know, they tried. I guess they're looking to appeal to the cat eye community. Okay, moving on. So the next Physicians Formula product that I got, and let's see. This one I did swatch a little bit, and okay, this is a the highlight. And I have been really wanting to pick up some highlights, and I know that highlight has come in, and that is my favorite trend of all. It's the Highlight on Flea Beige Pearl. So this looks really beautiful in the pan, and I don't know if you can see that, but this is just really luminescent. I expected it to just go on a lot more bolder and brighter. I've got to tell you, I'm still working on my lighting, and I'm so sorry guys if this isn't showing very well. I am so sorry. So, so sorry. The next, th the next thing I got is going in line with the highlight. I picked up the Fergie Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard. Now, this is something I've seen people use a lot on YouTube, and it looks really beautiful. And this is what it looks like in the pan. You know, it's kind of hard to really see. The next product I got was the Stay Matte Nude Beige long lasting pressed powder and i figured that i needed something like this to set my under eye area i do have the mac skin finish in medium plus but i feel like that doesn't work well in my under eye area it's a little too heavy and it does crease i like to use it all over my face just to bring back color but under my eye it's a little bit too much i feel like it does make me look a little bit older um i'm looking forward to playing with this i got some wet and wild products and they are two lipsticks, one in 503C and one in 530D. So this is the 503C. I like that. That's very creamy. And it's not matte. That's okay. Pretty. That's it right here. That's pretty. So I went to Target and I got these earrings. They were on clearance and they are so beautiful. I don't know if you can see, just kind of like the sparkle, just beautiful. They are a little heavy, I tried them on, but I I love it, it's beautiful. And I got the e.l.f., the blush brush for setting the under eye area and also highlight. And I also got the contour brush, which I thought would be good for contouring my nose when I want to do that. And so I got two lip liners from Jordana, and one is Rock and Rose, and one is Tawny. Here is the next thing, and I'm really excited about this. I was looking for this in so many different targets. Ugh. Stop, 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 stop. This is a godsend. I saw this, and it brought back a lot of memories because my first official brush set was from Sonia Kashuk. So these come with, this set comes with five face brushes. And there's a foundation brush, which I'm not really into, but you could use this to kind of set your under eye concealer nice and blending. Comes with a contour brush. I haven't used a contour brush with it. And a round buffing brush. 
And these are very soft guys very very soft and i like that because i have sensitive skin and brushes with hard bristles will break me out and make my skin flake it just it doesn't work it's, it looks like this is perhaps a blush brush and this looks like a really large stone powder brush and this is very soft so this you can just kind of after you've done your makeup just kind of go over and and it comes with five eye brushes products and so you have your small crease brush you have your bigger blending brush it has a smaller brush that would be a concealer brush but i would probably use this to pack color on the lid a angled eyeliner brush and a eyebrow brush but i'm really excited about this i have not used them so i will definitely be letting you guys know how this works out but yeah if you can get your hands on this definitely do that i got some I got some products from the Hard Candy line. This is the Twinkle Star Illuminating Duo. It's just the highlights. It's got a little bit, very fine particles of glitter. I don't know. I might give this to my sister. I'm not really sure because she's really fair and this would look good on her. So I did not do my homework before I bought it, but I came home and I was so excited about it because this is the Neutral Eyes Palette. But then I saw a review and it was just not a lot of nice things said about it. So I haven't even swatched it. I haven't even tried it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep it. I may just return it and exchange it for something else. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is one that I'm excited about. This is a cult classic, I'm guessing. This is, I am totally, totally behind on the times. But this is Tiki by Hard Candy and this is the baked illuminating bronzer and this this feels so nice so this is another i got another one another highlighter and this is rose champagne glow and this is what it looks like in the pan it's very pale pink it's very shimmery it's very pretty it's very light but I like it because it has shimmer. It's going to highlight. That's what I want. Uh, and these are some lashes. They're pretty extreme lashes. It's not something I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. But I figure I could do some looks with this. Like maybe cosplay. You just guys let me know. I definitely do think they're really pretty. It's just not something I would wear to dinner or a party or anything. This is Blissful Matte Lipstick by Milani. And I'm wearing it today. This I like. This I love the color really creamy even though it's a matte lipstick it's just really nice I just I like it because I I don't wear enough lip liners but I haven't been because it's been hard to find the right lip liner let's just go ahead and swatch right can you see it so anyway this is more of a brownish nude this is definitely something that I would blend into the lip line and then I got the elf cream eyeliner and coffee and i heard that this is really good to do your brows with but anyway there's this beautiful youtuber and she's like young beautiful blue eyes and she came out with a palette and the price point was right and i put myself on the waiting list and i finally got the chance to order the carly bible palette and let me just tell you this is absolutely a good deal if you are looking to get something that has a mix of shadows and highlights and you're not looking to spend a whole ton of money this is it right here this is, these are the shadows and you have a lot of dark mauve colors and you have some highlights that really are suitable for darker richer skin tones and more pinkish and fair skin tone and you know another thing too is that if you are of a richer skin tone you could always use the other highlights on your eye and um it's a, it's good i mean it's got decent pigmentation so this does work it's just, it just has some fallout and you just have to know how to manipulate the product but i'm definitely going to play around with this a little bit more and then show you guys how this turns out for me so that is that i'm for real i'm done now <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be a variety of things on this channel. Beauty, spiritual growth, and of course, my skincare journey, which I already did one video, and I need to film an update. 
I lost some footage because this camera is not very nice. It likes to delete, it likes to stop recording in the middle of you talking. It's just a hot mess. But anyway, thank you guys for joining. Subscribe, leave a comment below, and don't forget to add me on all your social media outlets. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, before. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, you, you could. Ah, you're just so frustrated. Let's stop.